day two of Lollapalooza. About to walk into the festival. Ethan's gonna meet me in there. I'm really hungry. I would love to eat some food. Maybe a hot dog. I did find a hot dog. I'm still waiting for Ethan. Feeling kind of lonely. Feeling kind of bored. Tacos smell good. It's only right that we keep the energy going. We keep this feeling of gratitude going. One of my favorite records. Follow me. Give me a run to my mind. On a scale from one to one to, ten, one, to one, bonus. how sober are you? One. <laughs> right, right. So the first thing I remember from last night is that I was just eating lobster. <laughs> Till next year, Lollapalooza. We'll Bye. Bye. Until, Until next year. Hey. Have a beautiful evening. Stay safe. Can I get a hey, Michaela? Hey, Michaela. Can I get a hey, Michaela? Hey, Michaela. Hey, Michaela. <laughs> Should I sit in the front seat? You sit up like you did. We made it to the peninsula. That one is the best. That's the best one. We've That's oh. vodka. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Did we get off on a random floor? Yes, we did. <laughs> now where do we go? I think that's scotch. It says, <gasps> it says scotch whiskey. I am starving and Ethan has just forced me to starve for hours. I am also starving. It's a moment for us. <laughs> it's our vlog. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hola. <laughs> I'm really sad that we're missing Odessa tomorrow, but we're seeing John Summit, so it's like... Can we just walk out into the street and find food? Can yeah. we walk back to my hotel or do we have to Uber? I love walking. I'm obsessed with walking. <laughs> you feed me pots and lobster. 
We are not doing lobster again tonight. I do not know why I did lobster last night. I was literally so intoxicated. We're walking the streets of Chicago trying to find a place to eat. The tea is that we are getting on a flight in like seven hours. Ethan already found out that the surprise was that we are flying first class back to LA. That was a surprise. Um, I didn't mean to reveal it to him. I was gonna try and reveal it to him when we got to the airport. I'm a nosy girl. <laughs> He's a nosy girl. And this girl is a hungry girl. So what happened was when I was checking the flights to make sure that we were sitting next to each other, it told me that to upgrade our flights to first class was gonna be $186 each. And I was like, send it. Immediately after walking into that restaurant, Ethan got the heebie-jeebies, so we had to leave. No one was helping us. I don't like that. That's not the vibe. And there was a guy in there with a shirt that said, I love s***. <laughs> the killer goes, I love your shirt. <laughs> like, somebody out, <laughs> So while we were at Kendrick, there was this person in front of us who literally kept changing the settings of his camera. And I could tell he thought he was recording, but he literally was not recording. I was like, press record. <laughs> okay. What are you getting? Do you know? Probably chocolate cake shake. Holy sh Holy they just served like a hundred people at once. I had to order my hot dog without mustard and without relish because I just don't like those things. They might be closing in 11 minutes, but there are still people piling in here. Let's unpack 308. We have a chocolate shake, french fries, crinkle cut, Italian beef right here. We're taking the lid off because Ethan and I are going to share this romantic style. I want to take a bite of it so bad. Oh my God, it's so hot. <sighs> take a sip of the chocolate milkshake. Oh, it's so hot. Temperature is spice. <sighs> Temperature is spice. It's literally boiling. Oh my god. That just burnt my throat so bad. I needed this like three hours ago. We destroyed that food, girl. Time to go to the hotel, sleep for five minutes, and then head to the airport. <laughs> Ethan, you ready to blow this joint? Let's Get out of here. Bye, Portillo's. Can you please video how big my pocket is right now that I just fit an entire water bottle in there? That's not real. I did not realize it was that big. I can't even see that there's a water bottle. Right. Oh. <laughs> Portillo's review. The bun must have like surrounded that hot meat. No pun intended. But <laughs> literally, it went. Down my throat, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, I can't even explain this without making it sound sexual, but like the meat went down my throat. The Philly cheesesteak, we'll say. It was that. not a it Philly cheesesteak, it was an Italian beef. Okay, the Italian beef went down my throat, no pun intended. I normally feel s burn my tongue. I didn't feel it burn until it was in my esophagus, and I've never felt that in my life. Like, I literally thought there was a hole burning in my esophagus from the grease. There probably was, girl. We are taking a walk home. It was a one mile walk from where we were back to my hotel, but the reason why we're walking is because we need to walk off that hot dog and that Italian beef sandwich. And if we were to take an Uber, then it would not be as fun. Also, I'm like totally obsessed with walking in Chicago streets. So sad. So I just so wanted to sad. soak it up while I could. <gasps> we have to cross. She runs every time, but anytime she sprints, then I just walk behind her and I make it perfectly fine. But it's kind of a vibe just watching someone work harder than you for the same thing. So we made it back. We're at the hotel. Like 15 minutes into that walk, I started just feeling really like nostalgic. So we had to turn on a little Glee mashup. The rumor has it someone like you Glee mashup literally gets me every time. Now we're listening to someone like you, but then we're like pulling up to the hotel. So I was like, oh, we're pulling up to the hotel. So we gotta go in. All right, it's time. We have an entire room to pack. We have about it's 10 minutes. 35 a.m. Ethan, stop! Are you really in that much of a rush? Do you no. want to just Uber home now and then no. I can just like take my time and then meet you there? No. Because Ethan's really stressed. He like wants to go home, at all. but he doesn't I've like how long it's taking me. And my throat burns. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, the chocolate cake is out now, girl. I don't know if all my clothes are gonna fit, honestly. We're gonna try, girl. <gasps> oh, my nail literally just bent backwards. Okay, so my toiletries are definitely not fitting in there. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I 
Alright, dude. Should we put it on the ground and sit on it? Let me get the expander open real quick. There is no expander. <laughs> this side is so full. How'd you like get it? You only bought two things. Ethan, it's literally not gonna close. It will. It literally looks like it's gonna explode. Like, can we please show the camera? It's literally gonna explode. Got it all packed, it's time to go, darling. When I got back to the hotel at 6 a.m., I was considering what would my life be like if I just decided to move to Chicago and like go to school here? Ew, there's someone's toenail on the ground. Oh, that's mine. Oh. I picked it off of my mouth. I feel sick. We're in the Uber now. Once we get to Ethan's, he's gonna have to pack his stuff super quickly. And then we're gonna have to head over to the airport. Our flight isn't until 7.42 a.m. No, I feel like we have time to sleep. What time is it now? Two. One, two, it's 2 a.m. Our flight is in five and a half hours. You need a three hour nap. Three hour nap.